we are recording. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Kiosk Value Working Group meeting, March 10th. Uh, please add yourself to attendees if you like to. And so on the agenda, first thing we have is we have one release matrix. So uh, we uh, should we look at the comments now or in the next meeting and sum that up and incorporate your comments? Is, there was one comment uh, about it. Yeah. So let me just, if you click on the pull request. Um, so the comment is change the name. Is it a process comment or like a content comment? It's the title comment. Like title is little hard or something so kevin has pointed it's especially the uh he's pro uh, proposing project recommendability rather than uh net recommendable uh, uh contributor recommendability so it's like either contributor is recommending or the project is being recommended yeah i think that's I think fair that, yeah i had the same kind of thought in passing so yeah that should be an easy change. Yep. So if we all agree, then I can change the name to the project recommendability. Yeah, and then you'll just have to cascade those changes through. Yes. The translations repo and all that stuff. That's yes. it, actually, just the translations repo. Yes. As I see is pointed out by Kevin too. And just ping on the when you do it, but not just ping Yahui. Okay. Or Shoya. Yeah, they are very uh, responsive to the any change uh, like request we make. They're pretty much responsive yeah. quickly. And this would be a really low, low overhead change. Yep. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, then the next item we have is uh, our continuous discussion on fair metric. I was not sure whether we continue this. Uh, what are the thoughts? Like, should we continue this conversation, carry it forward, or wait for fair folks to show up or something? Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, Sean, I don't know, you may have comments on the fair stuff and I think we yeah. had a conversation before. But I'm my recommendation is that we just table this conversation. Yeah, I mean if if I'm gonna really... put together a draft of of a metric, but we can table the conversation until I do so and I'll bring it back up. Okay. But right. like should we include people from FAIR? Because like I don't want to just do this work here. I don't want chaos no. to be like a somebody said this somewhere else and then we go and like do all the work. So so my thoughts are that I'm, I'm, um, you're giving a talk in April as well. I'm going mm -hmm. to, to the conference in the Netherlands and I'll be presenting my analysis of how open science, open source scientific software is different process wise than corporatized open source. And I think from there, the fair, a fair metric can be proposed from that discussion. In court, which incorporates people who are studying open source scientific software in the discussion. Okay, as long as we can get that's those what I suggest. Involved. Yeah, because I don't. I it always feels weird when we have like the conversation like in one spot, and then we bring that conversation here, and then we try to work on something here, and then we bring it back to fair, and then they make. Con I don't know. It just it seems like this weird long route. Of trying to get something done. Yeah, yeah. I I think the objectives are sort of um, a little bit off center for what Chaos is building metrics for. Yet, I think it is a, a community of projects that has some fundamentally different properties that require and, and different ways of giving credit that are maybe under under specified at this point in time. 
Okay. So I mean, I think it's I think from my perspective, or at least for my my own interests, it's worth pursuing, and I am pursuing it. Um, so, and that analysis okay. is actually what is holding up the social capital paper because um, I want to put some actual empirical data in it. Okay. So. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, Did you have a comment, Elizabeth? I do. I had a, yeah. It's kind of tangential, but like, how do we how do we link to or reference people who are developing metrics in other spaces? Like, we don't really have an outlet for that anywhere in, in mm -hmm. chaos, do we? No. Maybe something we think about later on down the line, just like how we incorporate other people's work into our own and like include those metrics in the body of work, but not like take credit for it, as you said. Mm -hmm. I think the closest we have is like in the reference section of, of individual metrics. metrics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could add that stuff to our knowledge base of like just other resources, other places where this work happens and yeah i'd probably want to do know. it at a pretty high level because i don't yeah. want to track no like, right true that's a good point individual low level things yeah so for this the decision is like once sean uh, will develop something yeah uh, bring it back we're to the, uh, yeah we're tabling it we're taking it off of our moving forward agenda and i'll bring it back when i have something it's a slow burn in the background for me. Okay. Okay. So, oh, my cursor was on the chat and I was taking the notes instead of Google Doc. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay. So, then the next I uh, agenda on the item is uh, somebody added deploy a value did, metric. I, I, okay, I didn't mean to like. <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to talk a little bit in this group about this, and I think it's something we should think about. So we in the metrics model working group, obviously, we're bringing together individual metrics that can be you know, used collectively to tell some sort of story. Um, and I, I think we should probably start thinking about some of these as stemming from the value working group. That would be my recommendation. Okay. So like, if I was to bring up our metric spreadsheet in You know, like if I was to, I'll put this in the chat. So like this, like, are there, are there things in here that could be brought together as a metrics model? And one of the things that's coming out of the metrics model working group are just a couple things, I guess. One is kind of keeping it simple. So, for example, a metrics model could actually be our focus areas. You know what I mean? I can kind of see it as potentially communal value could be a metrics model. And we have the, the metrics of velocity, popularity, and recommendability. Um. Something along those lines, but then we also think about how we go about deploying that. So we want to start not just having metrics that are brought together in the model, but user stories like who would actually care about these three metrics together. And then um, what are they called, Elizabeth? The, the boxes, <laughs> the toolkits. Yeah, the toolkits, right? How you might go about deploying. I didn't. I had I people you met, so there you go. I had that MozFest thing this morning. <laughs> um, so yeah, toolkits, and then also then associated Jupyter notebooks. So I we may want to start thinking about some of these being brought together in certain ways. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Um, Matt, I haven't looking... looked. Sorry, Vanna. Yes. I, have, I have a question. Yes. I haven't looked at Emma's two metrics models that she just did. Soup, like since she's revised and been working on. Were yeah. there? Do you know off the top of your head? Were there any of those that 
directly relate to any of the ones that are in progress or considering on our list? In the metrics model list? Yeah. One was safety. Yeah. Which is def definitely, and the other was, I'm, I'm looking at the list like, right now. Responsiveness, I think, was the other I, one. Okay, okay, so that won't affect, okay. Mm -mm. Okay, I couldn't remember if sustainability had anything to do with these or not. That piece is still a mystery to me of how, like the metrics models that are proposed in that group get back to the working groups. Like that, that's still kind of a mystery to me. Yeah, like the, the relationship, I get it between them. But I mean, anymore, it feels like the metrics model working group is really just only working with existing metrics. Doesn't it kind of feel that way to you? Yeah, yeah. And I know that's kind of by design as well. So yeah, mm -hmm. maybe that's why it's still a mystery to me because we haven't really come across it. Yeah. And just so we don't like open up a whole giant complex relationship thing, like the metrics model working group wants to use these five metrics Two have been developed three have to be kicked back to the working groups, two to value, one to DEI. You like it? Maybe it's better if we just stick with existing metrics, at least in the model model working group. So maybe we pick something uh, from the focus areas and focus on that specifically. Yeah, and let me let me go grab Elizabeth, unless you have it really handy, Emma's metrics models. I do not. I'll go get them. So here in the chat, I'm going to put This is the responsiveness metrics model. So it seems like we're starting to kind of part of this process too has been kind of discovering what the template should be for our metrics model. And I really like the work Emma has done here. So So she just has three fairly straightforward metrics that are brought together around issue responsiveness. Uh, I think that should be PR responsiveness <clears throat> and forum responsiveness. Yeah, for us, it will be a change request responsiveness as per Kios language. Oh, yeah, I always I forget the change. <laughs> Out. So it might be worth us I, honestly just thinking about maybe the it'd be interesting actually if it was quite if it was as simple as the focus areas in a working group becoming a metrics model. Yep. It's probably not quite that nice of a mapping, but I think that's a good place to start. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe it could be in some situations, but definitely not all. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing that had kind of come up through this is, and this maybe this is just kind of an ongoing chaos discussion, but the ability about the ability to kind of host an instance of Augur, Sean, you're part of this. Yeah. Yep. And I have, I actually have some um, credits now from Azure. So yep. I just need to, I am working at, we're working on the login. So it's a, it's happening. Okay. Cause the, I think the hope is, is that as we deploy these metrics models, we'll have a place to display them. Yeah, that you would like have like two drop or you'd have one drop down box that basically like, I don't know what the best design is, but a drop down box that lists all of the metrics models and then you type in the repo that you care about and you click exactly that, and it applies that yep. model to the repo. I'm just looking at the thing that you the thing that you did a responsiveness thing that you shared. Yeah, where's, where's the where's the model like, that is I, that whole thing is the model. Okay, well, how do they, how do you like put them together? 
like there, there's there's three there's three things in there right um and i understand i think i have some sense of how you measure each of those each of those two things are they are they aggregated in some way at this point no so one of the things that we're trying to overcome is that any metric by itself is probably not that helpful mm -hmm. and so how do we bring together metrics in ways that are meaningful like we, we're not finding anybody over the course of the chaos project that really just deploys a metric at a time like hey i'm going to do the age of a pull request or the age of an issue but they bring it together with other metrics to tell a story so the model is just the collection it's not yeah uh, okay yes yeah. But you know, that begs the question, should we be providing more context on how these models, how, sorry, how these metrics do fit together? Like when you, when you bring together, when you bring them together, what is the greater um, inference you can make? For instance, if, if, you know, issue responsiveness goes down and contributor, you know, number of new active contributors goes up, well, then you can you know, maybe we should be helping people understand the relationship between these two things in a deeper level. Like, how do you read these metrics together? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and we are not doing that. Yeah. Moment. So I think there was a, a suggestion maybe in the last metrics model meeting that was trying to pick that up from people in practice. Do you remember that? Like, I used this model to do this. This is how this model helped me by looking at what you were talking about, Elizabeth, by looking at issue okay. A alongside issue B, I was able to draw this conclusion. Got you. So then it would be more of like a crowdsourced uh, way of bringing them together as opposed to chaos being the ones to decide, well, this is what this means if you're, you know, or this is why this is happening, or this is how you can move this needle and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think the closest we get to it is in the user stories right now. Yeah, that but makes it's sense. Not, but it's not about, to make his point, it's not about like how these two metrics necessarily go together. And what they mean, mm -hmm. you know, based on each other. Yeah. So bringing it back to the value, uh... Do you think any particular model that we should start as the initial step as a focus for this group or? I mean, yeah, looking at what we have in value. Like we really don't have, at least just in the value tab itself. I think the only thing that we can really speak to at this point is communal value. Yep. And even from the communal value, we have moved the project popularity from a release metric to a model as a candidate model. So we just have one metric in the communal value. <laughs> well, then maybe we have to go looking for, maybe this is like an action item for Maybe you or me, Vinod, yeah. you know, to think about what is there a model that we could put forward from the value working group? So, uh, on those lines, we were thinking uh, like the discussion was going on moving the uh, project popularity to a model. Is it a model right now? No, it is not. And that was the, uh, another item in the agenda. If you go on the measuring activity of open source uh, project popularity, there was a link from the China uh, Asia Pacific meeting. Yeah. This is what they were proposing based on the... Why don't, instead of maybe trying to sort it out here, maybe you and I can try to sort this out for the next meeting. Okay. Oh, sorry. This was not supposed to come. I ignore the chat. It was a notes I was putting in the meeting and it pasted over there. It's okay. <laughs> the board is, is sometimes devious this way. Yep. Yeah. 
this is the link you, you can always talking. clear the chat by just stopping the meeting and then restarting it for everybody <laughs> <laughs> you are the only way yeah i do remember this right so this right. one was like yeah proposed as a model rather than uh, moving the project popularity from a metric to a model level. Let's, but not, why don't, it's a little like, this reminds me of the, the privacy and ethics data use thing that I've been working on. It seems like we have like five documents that are kind of talking about the same thing. Yep. And so maybe we could sort out like how these go together. Yeah. I want to say for the record that this circular pie chart, the colors are extremely pleasing to me. Like they're beautiful and I really love them. And I think June did this. Yeah. Uh, so good job, June. That is on the record now. So. <laughs> yeah, no, and the, I had a comment on the project on that pie chart that they're showing the top 10, but they're not giving us a sense of how that top 10 fits into the other 90. Um, yeah, but the colors, Sean, I mean. Yeah, I know, they're beautiful. No, they're, they're definitely beautiful. Let's and I, 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 I like this metric a lot. And I'm, it's on my list of things to look at and work on. Because so I think well, implementing it, like I know how to implement this. This is very consistent with a lot of the things I've said about um, weighting different kinds of activity differently in order to understand what's happening. So a pull request has more weight than a comment on a pull request, for example. And Augur can do that yeah. right now? Yeah, any, yeah, really any tool could probably do that. It's just math, yeah. but, but it's systemically, systematically applied math. And we have to have some empirical basis for picking those thresholds which they start to make the argument with the citations that are in here or a different version of this, but I think they're in here. Well, the choice, the weights they choose, they back up with, this might not be the one, but somewhere they back up the weights with a citation or two. Maybe it's a different version of this that I've seen or worked with. So I, one of the things, Vinod, here is this is called project engagement. It looks like we want to change the name of this. Engagement. The one that Yahui had provided. Okay. So it's the same project engagement. So it's not popularity. That's, you're saying that word isn't quite what we're, what it's measuring. Yeah, I'm saying that the one that Yahui that oh uh, yeah, he has commented out as a project engagement. So why don't we just change that? Okay. Yeah, I thought I thought there was a different name to it. Yeah, project engagement. Okay. Because okay. then we can do we have project engagement in the metrics model list? I don't think so. Okay, let's at least capture it there. Hey, what out. did what are we just what did we change? Uh, from project popularity to project engagement. Okay. On this one, let me, on this one. Okay, okay. The so Yahui had, this was uh, pop popularity and he had suggested changing this to engagement. And now I'm saying, let's go in here and, you know, maybe like here in the sustainability. Yeah. And someone remind me, our project popularity that's in communal value is more about how, like more usage, like how many people are using it or depending on it or whatever. Is that, is that right? Like how many stars they have on GitHub or how many you know, Twitter it's a consumption. Account. Yeah, it's a consumption metric, like actual utilization, okay. either as a okay. library import or a download. Okay. If I remember it correctly, I this, there's a lot of stuff in it. Like social media chatter is part of that metric, if okay. I'm remembering okay. which one is right. 
Yeah, I have it on the screen here. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I was remembering that properly. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Yep. Yeah. But there yeah, are this is a metric that needs to be deconstructed into a metric model. Yeah, because there are a lot of overlaps here. Like they have, like just looking, this had like um, meeting attendee count, which is like people attending the event. Yep. You know, um, we combine them. Maybe so. Maybe that's the recommendation. Model? Yeah. So maybe just part of it is taking a look at this list here. Maybe this is our effort instead of trying to build a metric model coming out of this list. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But actually saying, let's combine the yeah, candidate for metrics model. Let's take a look at this one and everything that we have here alongside this one. Mm -hmm. and everything that we have here and then this would go away yep. in value because it would become methods not yet this yep. right here yeah okay well then so is project engagement then are you trying to make that one single metric like combine the two into one single metric it, it'd be combined the two into one single metric model okay 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 oh, yeah, yeah yeah okay yep. i got you Sorry. Let and then, go. yeah. And then this metric itself, which is kind of a model by itself, because it has so many smaller metrics, more atomic metrics, would essentially just go away. We put it out of this as a released metric from the value working group. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I feel okay. like some of these that are listed in progress there are not actually in progress. Like they're more of no. considering, you know. They were, all of these were like considering. Uh, these were uh, taken out from the social listening, which was moved to. Oops, not a filter. Yeah, and this is like, this kind of goes back to my comment on the fair stuff. Like, if we don't have folks from. <laughs> <laughs> from that group engaged then building a metric for them is not mm -hmm. something we should be doing no nope. right it, that's correct okay so uh yeah so the action item for me is like put together all these things and then bring it to the here or to the uh, metric model group um either would be fine because okay. i think there's an overlap. The met next metric model working group meeting is Tuesday at yep. six US Central. And I honestly, I think it comes down to taking a look at this list. Yep. And uh, this list. Yep. And just seeing where the overlap is between the okay. two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay. Let's uh, do this as an action item and I'll work on it. Okay. So then the next thing on the agenda, if we are good to move. Yeah. Yeah, so next is on the agenda is a new metric value organization drive from open source software. Where we were supposed to, uh, like I attended that meeting uh, from the Google who were presenting on the community side. Like, uh, what was this meeting? A meeting measuring the impact of open source. Uh, here is the link. Oh, oh, it's in the minutes. I see. Yes. Oh, it's... yeah, from the to do group. Yep. So it was more of a questioning, like, who are your stakeholders for whom you should care for? 
and give an example. It's like, for example, uh, as a company, uh, if I'm using an open source software, uh, why should I care for it? And who are my stakeholders that are affected by uh, from that software? Okay. Uh, so, but that was not in align with like value organization drive from open source. So was there any value component? Maybe I need to watch it. I see that it's archived. Yes. Uh, value component, I, I, I didn't like find a match in value component. It was more on like, why should we care for this rather than how we get something out of it? So like, like why should we care for a particular open source project? Yes. Why does it matter for whom it matters? why it matters and for whom it matters like our stakeholders whether be our customer be our user or be our internal user or okay so like from google's perspective why do we care about this project and then why does this project matter to internal google employees to downstream google users. company users okay yes yeah that was a good that's an interesting looking presentation actually So, so I'm not sure whether uh, Matt, that aligns with the value of organization drive from open source, which I felt is more in a different uh, economic perspective. What are the ways they extract value from an open source with being using it or saving some cost or doing marketing or something those. Uh, I think I need to watch it. I, I think there would be an argument if there's some downstream implications that I care about? There have to be. Mm -hmm. There are certainly downstream implications. For caring about a project? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can't imagine the entire talk was like just for from a, like a do good. Like I care about projects. No. Do, do the right thing. No, it's no, I'm sure it's to understand dependencies and you know you know the business i think business impact is one of those amorphous phrases but when you're in open source it really does mean looking upstream and downstream and trying to understand a lot of things that you're not usually focused on understanding i agree i um so it's almost like Maybe this could in our spreadsheet for what we have. I'm going to bring this back up again. So we have these two. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's almost like this which, talk is about kind of which two are you? Uh, uh, Twenty nine and thirty. Which two are you? Okay. All right. Sorry. The the uh, when you met one full screen, the transcription got in the way. <laughs> oh, rows twenty nine and thirty right here. So it's a value that the organization. Yeah brings to it's like it's stitching those two parts together yeah mm -hmm. because this is kind of this is kind of the upstream this is kind of the downstream right yeah and uh i think when the value an organization brings to an open source project i think it's finding all of the open source projects to which that organization brings value probably through the context of one of the projects mm -hmm. and then the value derived is looking across an entire portfolio and discerning which projects are are the ones that we most often derive value from, which is kind of the Dwayne O'Brien challenge and indeed. So I, I think maybe I just need to watch this. <laughs> yeah, I probably do too, because it's it looks pretty interesting actually. I think we've met Amanda, haven't we? Yeah, I she's feel like. I, what's that? Yeah. She's been oh, on she, Cast. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, she's familiar. I don't okay. know why. Chaos Cast. One yeah. of our podcast issue, uh, episodes. Okay. So, so uh, 
we have the document so after watching uh, maybe you uh, i have added some content to the value organization drive but it's not fine or like it, it was just my thoughts that were in my mind and i i put it in the words so okay if you get any ideas from the video uh, maybe just add those thoughts in this yep in this okay. Uh, document okay So, yep. Does Google Drive ask all of you if this is the account you want to use for every document you open now? It depends no. if I'm logged into more than one account. When I, I just log all the accounts. Yeah. Well, then that's weird. Yeah. That is, that is weird if you're not logged into more than one account. I just paged through the presentation, like um, mostly looking at the slides. I mean, it seems pretty high level and mostly focused on like, it's almost like a meta conversation. There's very little discussion. There's a little case study at the end about some specific sort of decisions, but it's basically just like, talk to stakeholders, don't rely on a single metric, right? It's like very high level kind of like, okay. um, yeah. uh, like it, it seems good and useful, but I don't think it's specifying like here are specific things that people should be measuring um, that they are not, or- It's not things. studying the world on fire. Yes. Well, I mean, I think it's useful. I just think that like, it's, it's yeah. I don't know, my sense was, and again, I didn't like, I, I mostly just looked at the slides as I sort of paged through it, is that it doesn't have a lot that would be like, Mm, like really new to this conversation that's my sense but again like I, it does look like a like a nice talk um i think that it's probably worth spending more time than like two minutes like uh fast forwarding through it and looking at the slides is there a doc linked in the presentation i might have missed that yes there was a doc presentation doc um... did you know that we were a partner i was just i did say that. Yeah. i did not uh oh, it wow. was from it was from to do group so i think we uh, somehow there was a partnership with to do group that's where they put yeah. in this sweet yeah, yeah. Oh, where wow. did so you find where did you yeah. where did you find the presentation or the document mako oh here uh, i just it was i clicked on the link from the oh no no i, I just it was a video right it's the video which is linked yeah. on the, yeah. the spreadsheet um yeah. and and if you just click through, it's linked to from the agenda that we're all going through. Um, it's oh, okay. the it's oh, the okay. foundation events thing. And if you click through, uh, there's, there's the presentation. Like the punchlines are basically like avoid an ROI model, like um, uh, you know, do a lot to like manage uh, stakeholders, um, and focus on metrics and KPIs that sort of reflect what like mm -hmm. matter to you. Um, so like good advice but i'm not i didn't see specific like suggestions like these are the things that you should be this is the way in which you should be going about trying to measure value okay so yeah but this we but have certainly seems much... like a kind of fellow traveler um uh, yeah uh like <clears throat> For sure. It's like very, very related to this conversation. So uh, I think we have covered everything in today's agenda. Just any open issues or PR is left because uh, so we have just three minutes. I don't think we'll be able to look at those. So. Maybe in the next meeting, we can look at the issues and PRs and then continue working on the model. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think working on the model sounds like a good next step. And I'd... Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's all we have for today. Uh, any other issues or agendas that you want to bring for the next meeting? No, I'm looking through the to-do group site right now to see how often we're <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> we're everywhere, apparently. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, everybody. Yep. Thanks, thanks, everyone. Yep, thank Bye. you so much. Bye. Bye. See you. See you.